Hello friends, we're walking by the, it's called the Medinat Asila, it's the old city of Asila. Uh, a little bit about uh, the, the uh, Jews in Morocco. We, the Jews themselves had a tradition that they came together with the Phoenicians. As it's mentioned already in, in Tanakh that the uh, Shlomo HaMelech had the uh, boats going to Orfiro. And they believe that they came here long at that time, still when the time of the first base on Igdash, even before. Um, but the archaeological evidence shows that the Jews lived in Morocco at least from the second century onwards. We know that uh, Josephus mentioned 30,000 Jews that were uh, brought here to the Maghreb um, in the time of the Choroban base, Amigdash, the second base of Amigdash, that the Romans brought them along. The big influx came when the Visigoths in the, in the sixth century became uh, Catholic, so the, a lot of Jews ran away to, uh, to, to Morocco. Uh, they became very influential in the 10th century. A lot of the, the rabbis in Morocco became, moved to, uh, belong to the yeshiva from, from Eretz Yisrael. And, uh, and then again an influx for the Jews that came in time of 1492 after the expulsion. So this is, we're walking in the old town of Asila. This would look, this would be a typical uh, scene of a town uh, called the Medina. Now we're trying to find the Mela. The Mela is a, every city, every city had a Mela. Mela is is the uh, Jewish quarter. Not unlike, so similar to the way the, way the uh, Jews in Europe had a ghetto. Uh, yes, look up here. You see synagogue. The that the, uh, the uh, city had a synagogue and this would be called this part of the city we called the Mela they had their own quarter it wasn't locked or whatever but they had they had their own places where they lived in their area now we'll see if we can get into the there's a number that you can call this will be the synagogue the Kahal Asila let's try to get that's it